Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about a secret monster that Javier tells us about that might be able to one day be found in Mexico. So last week I was recording a video for a completely separate topic. What I was trying to do was get the companion activity for Micah so that we could go on like a, a robbing a stagecoach together because there was a line of dialogue that I was looking for. If you're curious about that, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's actually pretty interesting and it has to do with Micah and Lenny's girlfriend, Jenny. But anyways, that takes place in chapter four. So I was around Shady Bell a lot and I noticed that there was a wanted poster for Javier and I had never seen this before. Now, my Spanish is not great, but I'm pretty sure this says wanted for murder and treason. If you guys speak fluent Spanish, maybe you can correct me in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Uh, it is Punta or Gula Nueva Pariso, uh, Javier Escuela. I think it says dead or alive, and then your reward is $1,000. So it looks like Javier has a $1,000 bounty wanted on him in Mexico. That's uh, Nuevo Pariso. So pretty cool right there. And that's something I had actually never seen before. Again, you play Red Dead Redemption 2 for five, six, seven months now, and I'm finding new things every day. And coming across this made me want to dive into Javier's Mexico mystery a little bit more. And so I started looking into the campfire conversations and camp encounters that he would have with us. And one of those encounters actually talks about an interesting monster that can be found in Mexico. Take a listen to this. When I was a boy, my mother told me about an animal that attacked cattle and drank their blood. Of course, you've all heard about this. Every place has one of those, but my mother's version was a little different. Along with farmyard animals, her version also ate little boys who misbehaved. Oh, she tried everything she could to keep me in line. Prepare me for a life of starving servitude while picking corn and cotton for rich landowners, giving every penny I had to the church they used to keep us in line. I, I love my mother, but she never saw how things were. Even after they killed her brother, still, she could not see how life was. You don't talk about your mother much. It's painful for me. Sure, I understand. Okay, so even though Javier doesn't call the monster by name, if you've played Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare in particular, you know that this creature, this monster that he's talking about, is the Chupacabra. Again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. In Spanish, this actually means goat sucker. And the Chupacabra is a cryptid whose origins lie in contemporary Latin American legend and is among the mythical creatures that was released in Undead Nightmare. Now, in Undead Nightmare, the creature resembles a cross between a hyena and a boar, and is super fast. Now, it has grayish-green skin, red eyes, and a row of quills along its spine. So, needless to say, it's a pretty devastating and creepy looking monster. So how cool would this be if we were to go to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2 and to be able to hunt this sort of animal? Because in Undead Nightmare, this was also a part of the hunter challenges. And it was also, number one, one of the hardest animals to find in the game, but also number two, one of the hardest animals to kill and take out just because of how vicious and venomous it was. Now, Rockstar actually created some artwork for this monster. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the screen right now. You can see it's Chupacabra. Its origin is unknown, possibly mythical. Its hairless gray body and glowing red eyes, muscular back rigid with sharp black spines. It can be anywhere from two foot six to three foot six feet tall, with it being anywhere from three foot six to four feet in length. And it is rumored to be sighted in the Mexican bordered areas. And its behavior is unpredictable, extremely vicious, and you are given a warning to do not approach. So I've been stating this for a bit now, but I've always thought it would be super cool to be able to go to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2. And it would be neat if Rockstar sort of tied that into an undead nightmare expansion as well for RDR2. 
That way they could include all these cool things that we got to do in the first Red Dead Redemption, and it would satisfy that need of going to Mexico. And I would assume it would have to be done before 1899, so it would sort of be a prequel to Red Dead Redemption 2. And there's a lot of hints and clues in the game that Mexico could be something or an area that Rockstar expands into. I've covered a lot of these in previous videos, so I won't go into them in insane detail here, but you can actually find NPCs that spawn across the river, across the border, and you can see them in Mexico. There's the original Mexico music score that can actually be heard if you get close to the border. There's also a lot of the famous landmarks that you can find in Red Dead Redemption's Mexico in RDR2. Obviously, the entire landscape itself, the fact that you know, Rockstar didn't just make a giant body of water, but in decided to include the land of Mexico itself. That is obviously good news for a Mexico DLC occurring. And on top of that, Javier talks about Mexico a lot. Like, he brings it up almost every chance he can get. Which means I think Rockstar still has a lot of story to tell there. I mean, just take a listen to some of these encounters right here. Javier goes into insane detail about his Mexican past, heritage, and his time there. Words fail all of us when it comes to women. <sighs> no. Man. <sighs> what are the women like in Mexico? About the same. Some good, some bad. Some you think are good, turn out to be bad. <laughs> you miss Mexico? Of course. Think you'll ever go back? I killed a man there. A powerful man. Over a woman. Guy in the army. Till he lost his position. I can't go back. Maybe one day. I'd love to go to Mexico. One day. <laughs> Maybe you will. Love to travel, see the world, head south. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Bolivia, Peru, Brazil. I met a Brazilian in a bar once. I, I didn't understand a word he said. You know, it's nearly five years since I left Mexico, and the rebellion, ah, it still has not happened. If I go back and they find me, I'm dead. My mother. I heard she died. I mourn her, but I did not bury her. My sister got married, she moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? Huh? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people, for that. I have been chased and hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Hey there. Yes, things are the same everywhere. Yeah. The older I get, the more I find that to be true. Kind of depressing. You know, when I was a little boy, some men came to my village. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. They took them into the streets, stripped them naked, castrated them, and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the village was forced to watch. One of those men was my uncle. Another was a friend of my parents. And you know what those men had done? They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local landowner. That, not, not that he, not that he share all that he had, just that he give enough that the people might live. 
Of course, Mexico could be a land of plenty. But the people with the power there? They rather kill than share the smallest little piece. All my life, I think about this. Most people are thieves because they steal the lives and the hopes of others. Hello? You think you'll ever go back to Mexico? For now, I can't. You think we're wanted here? I'll be shot on sight if I go back there. Maybe one day. So overall, I think this would be incredibly cool, especially if we were able to hunt this insane, legendary, mythical monster. I just think that would be awesome. But again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.